It was at this moment, Drew knew he f***ed up. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a Wheel Wednesday. Today I have the Meepo Cyclone wheels, the 110 millimeter wheels. These came with the Voyager. Now, these are an incredibly interesting wheel because of the durometer of the actual wheel. It's so squishy. 68 durometer, possibly the squishiest wheel I've ever ridden on. Let's go ahead and dive in. Now, when Meepo Voyager came out, -ah, this board came out with the 90 millimeter street wheels, which I was a huge fan of already. I love the 90 millimeter street wheel for the reason that range, grip, everything about it was nice. It was softish wheel, but it wasn't too soft. Uh, it definitely held up to abuse. That whole entire grip thing with the urethane wheels is fantastic. So I was a little nervous jumping on these guys here because these do have this tread pattern on here. And this is supposed to be like an off-roadish street tire, but it is rubber. It is, it's just like legitimately a rubber wheel. And it's got these holes all the way through it. And this is supposed to absorb shocks in the road, cracks and vibrations, which I can say without a doubt, it 100% does that. Now I will show you a few clips and stuff like that going down the road here, uh, but it is definitely one of the softest wheels I've ever ridden. It is so squishy, so shock absorbing that it does lend you to really an enjoyable, comfortable ride. Even over super, super rough terrain like this right here, you can see that the cracks and bumps and even like literally just straight up potholes that I'm running over on this thing, it just absorbs all of it. It doesn't feel like I'm, I'm getting jarred off my board. Now that does lend to the wheels and also the really flexy board that the Voyager is. But I can tell you that these wheels, if you're looking for something that's a commuter, you have rough roads around you and this is something that worries you all the time, these are the wheels for you. Now, the one thing I will say is I put about two to three batteries through on the Voyager. Now the Voyager is not a slouch. It is a huge, massive battery at over 500 watt hours. This thing is just a range beast. Now that being said, it was colder weather with me. So I normally was getting on my group rides in the summertime, the Voyager easily doing a 15 to 20 mile run and coming back with only one battery bar down. And that's doing like 25, 26 miles an hour constantly the whole way through, stopping a few times and whatnot. But this battery is insanely, insanely large for what this style board is. These wheels took a little bit of hit in the range, but not noticeably. I mean, I'm, I'm still saying that I put 25 miles of range on this board and came back with half of a battery bar left. Again, that could have been weather. It, it was really cold here. It was like around 37, 38 degrees that day. So I was constantly just taking the board out, using it all week long, running my errands on it, having fun, like doing off-road stuff. And it definitely, the range took a little bit of a hit. So I don't know if that was necessarily due to the cold weather, the bigger wheels, but it was a, a little bit of a noticeable difference from the 90 millimeter street wheels to these. So take that with a grain of salt. Maybe we'll do this again in the summertime or in the, in the springtime when it's a little bit warmer weather. But all I can say is that it's a, it's a fun ride and the grip is there. I mean, beyond that, the grip is there. So these rubber wheels tend to just hug the road and that's on any condition, whether you're on a boardwalk, whether you're on a sidewalk, whether you're on a really nice pavement road, it does really well. The one thing that I will say is that it doesn't necessarily do the best on, and I know this is kind of where it's probably lending itself to being, is this off-roading style. Now here you can see, this is a beach area that I live in. This is a grass park area. I was just kind of messing around, but you can see that the grass, the soft sand and grass is like right there. It's just super soft. So here I am just kind of like flooring it, showing off the power of the wheel. It's like digging into it, whatnot, that's great. Hop on it, as I'm going through, I hit a divot, my front foot slipped and I stepped off and this is all like super low speeds, like three to four miles per hour, maybe. Like I was, I would could definitely walk faster and I just took a tumble here and you know, for your entertainment, here I am falling again. So testing these wheels out off road, I would say that if you're going to like a more compact dirt area, which uh, you can see in this video here, that I would say that it's more lending to itself this way. If you're looking for off-roading tires, 
I wouldn't say that these are your off-roading tires. I would say that this is a, if you have kind of chewed up chunky roads around your area and you wanted to have something that's a little bit smoother of a, of a ride, a little bit different grip than what you would get in your cloud wheels, and that 110 millimeters is not, uh, it's that in-between size between the 105s and 120s. This 110 size definitely gives you a, a nice variable in the difference there. So with this diamond etch pattern that you see on here, it, it just, I've worn it down a little bit. It kind of does these burnouts. Like you can literally go ahead and grab and like just grip onto the road and do these burnouts. And again, with these wheels, these holes, it, it gives you a little bit of this like suspension feel to it. I mean, like it does, it compresses pretty, pretty aggressively there. You can squeeze this whole front end down. It's the squishiest wheel ever. In conclusion, if you are looking for, again, if you are someone that is a city urban commuter that has got just gnarly roads and you're worried about the 90 millimeter street wheels, you're hitting a pebble, you're flying off this board, then I would say that this is a great valuable option for someone that's looking for like super soft, squishy wheels. 110 millimeters, you eat up a little bit of range, but you gain a lot of the suspension and comfort ride of it. The grip is there, it's definitely nice. It's not as grippy as per se you would get on a street wheel like your Mad 105s but that's a whole different beast. If you're someone that is in the market for a suspension style wheel, then go ahead and give the Meepo Cyclone 110s a try. If you're new around here, welcome to the channel. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. We have tons of content, board reviews, experiences, travels, group rides, everything down below. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel here. We are so close to our goal of 1,000 and I'm giving away a $150 gift card to One Stop Board Shop once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't yet and you find this content useful, go ahead and click down below. Subscribe, thumbs up, comment. We'd love to hear about your thoughts and what you think about the channel and what you guys are looking forward to the most for this 2023 season. And please, if you haven't checked out this video here or this video here, until next time guys, remember, always wear a helmet. Peace.